Hey guys, welcome back to Adam's DIY Garage and today I'm going to be doing a, a review of this easy up pool that I got from my local little store and go through it, how do I like it, uh, the size and what modifications I did. So stick around and we'll dive right into it. All right, guys, so I bought this. Uh, this is an impulse buy at my local little store, and it's been hot this summer so far here in the Northeast in New Jersey, and I bought this for my kids. I have a one-and-a-half-year-old and a, a four-year-old, and I was looking for a pool to get them outside to get, you know, into the heat, but if it gets too hot, we could just jump right in the pool and play and do all that uh, horsing around. So uh, I was that little doing some grocery shopping and uh, I seen this there for 70 bucks. I picked it up and uh, I really like it. I have to say I really like it. It's, as you can see, it's not set up in the most level of spots. Um, my yard is pretty lumpy, so this is about as best as I can find. One of the things that I like about this pool is the size. So it's about a thousand gallons. It's a uh, 10 foot, I believe, by uh, two foot tall, something like that. If I measure the water depth, the water depth is actually one foot eight. So we're talking, you know, two foot from here to about here and 10 foot across. Holds about a thousand gallons. I did some math on that. And uh, yeah, so far it's held up. We've had it for about two or three weeks now and it's held up pretty well so far. Um, the pump that it came with, is uh, not the greatest, I will say that. It came with a 300 gallon per hour pump, little tiny thing. Right off the bat, the little cartridge filters like this, they, they're tiny, absolutely tiny. So it clogged up really fast and it just continued to clog up. The pool itself is holding up really well, but the pump is something to be desired. So I went ahead and jumped on Amazon and got a, a bigger pump, did some research, for this size pool, a lot of people were getting away with this Intex 2,500 gallon per hour pump. And at first I thought it was gonna to be too much, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it anyways. And I'm glad I did because this pump has kept this water really clean, really clear. And it pumps just enough to get the water circulating around, but not too much where it's shooting the water out of the pool, which is what I was really afraid of. So, the other things that I had to upgrade going from that 300 gallon per hour pump to the 2,500 gallon per hour pump was the 2,500 gallon pump has inch and a half threaded fittings and the um, 300 gallon per hour pump has inch and a quarter slip fittings. So this right here would be a slip fitting. Uh, I'll get a close up shot of that for you guys, but this is a, uh, a slip fitting inch and a quarter slip fitting so i had to get some adapters and um one of the adapters that i had to get was these uh inch and a quarter slip fit to inch and a half threaded and then while i was at it also i seen a lot of people getting these shut off valves and i ended up getting this t valve right here which is inch and a quarter dual inch and a quarter slip fit 
in to inch and a half threaded out. And then the hoses came with the Intex pump and it also came with the filter. So other than that, it, it was, I think I spent a hundred bucks for the Intex pump. Uh, the valves each were about $20 each and the slip fittings were about $7 ish. I'll have the prices in my Amazon affiliate links. So if you're interested in getting a similar setup for your pool, I highly recommend it. Just so you know, they are affiliate links and I do make a small commission off of it, but that helps with the channel. So, but yeah, I mean, other than that, other than the pump, I have no problems with this. I really love this pool too, because I have a four year old and I have a, a one and a half year old. So my boys, they like this pool. They love swimming. They love being in the water. But if you have family members like we do that have deeper pools, like five foot deep pools, both of them are terrified of getting in the pool because it's so deep because they can't swim yet. So I bought this one hoping that that would get them used to being in a pool of water, you know, and we could practice swimming in there and everything like that. So I was a little bit concerned about my one and a half year old being able to stand up in this, but that's not an issue. At one foot eight, the water level is up to his chest. So he's totally comfortable and fine with being in this pool. And my four year old, he is, the water level is about just below his chest, a little bit, little bit there. So he really, he, he absolutely enjoys it. They both enjoy it, they both love it. I love it because I don't have to get in a super deep pool and swim around. I can just jump in, relax with them, you know, play with them. A couple of the other things that I got for it too was this uh, floating solar powered temperature sensor, which has worked out great so far. It actually, it's 88 degrees in here right now. And the other thing that I got was this little ducky chlorine thing. You just put the little chlorine po uh, pucks in there and uh, he just floats around. I mean, it works out great. Another thing I like about this pump that I forgot to mention earlier was it has some bleed valves on it. So when you're priming it, it's super easy. You have a bleed valve here, you have a bleed valve right here, and then there's another one on the side over here. So between all three of those, you can really get the air out of this pump and pretty much as soon as water starts squirting out, shut them off, turn the pump on, and it's good to go. Uh, Another feature I love about this pump also is it has an on off and a two, four, six, eight, and 12 hour timer. So what I usually do, and the way the timer works on this is whatever time of day, if you come out at six o'clock in the evening and you set it to two hours, which is what I normally do, every day at six o'clock, it will turn on for two hours and pump for two hours, clean the pool, and then shut off by itself. And it'll keep repeating that so long as you leave it on the two hour mark or whatever hour mark you'd end up leaving it on. So I think that's a really great feature. Uh, you can also just turn it off and then you can also just manually turn it on and then you'll have to come back out later on in the day and uh, turn it off yourself. So, but that's that. It has a really long cord. So it's about a 25 foot long cord, um, which is great. So, I have an outlet on the side of my garage that I use, the exterior outlet, it's waterproof. So, but other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a great pool. It's so far for the three weeks in, in the blazing heat, the material doesn't seem like it's, you know, discolored or faded or even, you know, deteriorated a little bit. Um, even this, it did, and this doesn't even take that much air guys. I, this, this, I just blew up with my, uh, Dewalt um, leaf blower. It's got an uh, inflator attachment on it. So I just blew that up to that and then started filling it up with water. I will say when you're setting it up that once you have about an a inch of water in the bottom, maybe less, you're going to want to go through and just start to spread it out and smooth it out as best you possibly can. And at that time too, don't make the mistake that I made and think that you have everything cleaned up. Underneath of it, there is a Lego 
underneath this pool that after we filled it up, you know, the ground settled and we found a, a Lego underneath. But other, I mean, it, it's a little bit concerning to me because it is kind of pointy, but so far, you know, it's underneath, it, it is sitting on a tarp and the Lego is underneath the tarp. So I'm not that concerned about it. Again, it was a $70 pool. So if it does spring a leak, it did come with patches that I can use to fix it, but it's not a total loss. It's, it's a $70 pool. So, but it's holding up pretty fine. So, and so like I said, getting back to it, uh, you, once it starts to fill up a little bit with water, about an inch, maybe less, you're gonna wanna go through and just smooth it out. Just, just press all the wrinkles out as best as you possibly can and let it fill from there. Just let it fill. It took a, uh, it took about four hours to fill completely to the, to the lines that it has on it, and then from there you just do your chemicals, balance it all out, and enjoy. So, then it took about a day to get up to uh, to get up to what it was a uh, almost ninety degrees. So I filled it up like on a, a Friday evening. We came back out Saturday evening and the thermometer said uh, 90 degrees so i thought that was pretty cool uh i will say that when the pump is going the water temperature will cool down just a little bit a few degrees and that's because the temperature sensor sits on the top of the water and the water underneath is still a little bit cooler so i'll turn it on before we come out sometimes in the morning and it'll say 86 degrees and then by the time I let the pump run for about two hours it's dropped down to about 84 but again it's not that bad um other than that it's a it's a great pool like I said my one and a half year old he can stand up and play in it my four-year-old loves it you know we're learning how to dive in it we're learning how to and not not jumping in and diving but like holding our breath underwater and, and, and putting our heads underwater and everything like that we're learning how to swim in a nice safe environment where you know if they start to panic they just instantly stand right up they know they're safe they know that they won't drown so it's really reassuring for them it's fun for them it gets us outside you know to play to get that vitamin d from the sun and yeah i really love it so far so good uh if i do end up with any problems or whatnot with this pool i will be sure to update you guys on it but yeah for this hot summer so far if you you know you guys see these on amazon maybe i'll put a link to one on amazon but uh yeah uh, again these little 10 foot by uh two foot uh pools they're great absolutely great i highly recommend them i love them especially if you have small children or if you're even elderly you know i was talking to my wife about that maybe her father should uh grab one because he's always outside he could just jump in and when he gets too hot he, he, he can't stop working so but um yeah other than that it's a great pool Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, comment, hit that like button. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a good day.